What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm back, of course. Uh, thanks. Or, not thanks. <laughs> As you saw in my most recent upload, if you watched that already. And, you know, I just showed a little sequence, whatever. Um, and I got a comment or two on, um, like a couple things, like how did I do certain things in, in that animation. And I will be showing you how to do those things. I don't know if you were looking how to do that, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it to you guys rather than trying to explain it, you know, just through a video or just trying to write it to you. So, um, anyway, uh, let's go and get right into it. So, now we're here in Blender, uh, as you can see, obviously. And um, so, first, of course, before we do anything, we want to go ahead and set up our keying and start an end frames because that's how we do things. Okay, uh, so first you want to just set your start to zero and you know, I mean the end frame of this really doesn't matter. I'm going to keep it on 250 or 240 whatever. And um, next you want to go over here to playback in this section right here. It's AV sync and then just turn on scrubbing or whatever. Just AV sync. Right. That's sync on. I don't know what that does, but it does something good, so. Um, and then set your keying to location, rotation, and scale. As we will be doing a lot of uh, locating and rotating. Uh, that was good. Alright, um, <laughs> anyway. Let's go ahead and open our world, too. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get our world in here. And so yeah, go to file. Hit the drop down and go to import second to last on the list should be wavefront or obj click on that and then locate your world mine is right here now before you just open up your world or your obj file and if you go to the right here on the list and click the drop down for geometry and click that click click split by group and that will um let's see what that does next and just go ahead and open up your world into blender and as you can see uh this is actually the same world i used for the animation everything looks kind of terrible right now and you'll see if you look here in the little up right here go ahead and expand that a bunch of little objects and that is it basically made a separate object by group meaning if we could deselect this we could select all the grass together Place the grass things or grass blocks, leaves, wood, everything separated. And you know, if we didn't do that, then we couldn't really make the little leaves move, they'd just be static. But um, before we animate any of this, I uh, want to go ahead and just click A, that will select everything. And then if you have MC Prep installed, it's, an, it's a Blender add on which um, basically converts these Minecraft blocks. Or these this obj file it looks terrible so mc prep fixes that makes them look normal uh if you want a tutorial on how to like get mc prep set up i'll leave a link in the description in to the tutorial that i found most helpful as you know there's already one out there so now next you want to go ahead and click prep materials and it will fix all the textures basically hit okay and just let it load it'll be kind of a little race for a little while but don't worry 50 seconds okay and as you can see it has fixed all the textures for all these blocks see that you can see through leaves like you could in minecraft the you know the grass looks normal so all that is fixed now so you're good even the lava textures are less a lot less dull like it was so uh now let's go ahead and get to animating this um so we got our being set up basically so next you want to go over to the, your leaves or whatever hold up i'm gonna do these separately because you can do them all together that'd be laggy but i'm gonna do the leaves and the grass separately so first just go up to your leaves just hit just click on one of them and want to go ahead and extend this tab right here just open that up because this is a very important part. 
and go to uh, modifier properties and for this uh, what you have selected for your leaves oh actually I'm gonna if, add it together um, for your leaves click add modifier and go down on the deform this deform section here and click displace and that'll like it look like it just inflated all of our leaves we don't want that uh but you know as you can see you're gonna mess around with the strength a little bit and see how it would, oh my gosh see how it would deform your leaves but we don't want to mess with the strength because then it just look like they're breathing that would just be creepy so uh hold on, let me just click all right now you want to click new right here add a new texture and that'll make everything really really and next um go down to your texture properties and as you can see you got these texture properties here type image or movie well we want to change that to all right uh sorry about that uh so yeah check change the type to clouds there and it'll fix everything basically it will make them back to normal you know they're not all puffy anymore but how to make them move is something we need to think of so first you need an object that it can you know use its coordinates for like shift a or oh, select everything shift a go down to empty hit plane axis there's uh here it is i'm just gonna go ahead and drag that up to the sky here and now we have our empty plane axis here and um that will be our mover thingy something basically something you can move to make the trees move you could use any object for this but i use plane axis why not um all right so next click or select your uh, leaves again and this time go back up to the okay and uh so you go up here to the modifier tab and change the coordinates from local object and that will change its coordinates to an object but obviously we have no object selected so we're going to need to select an object so um take this little eyedropper here next to the object thing and go and select the empty and now if we test it um click on the empty and just move a little bit see what it does if you look closely here let me just move this as you can see it's as we move it the leaves are moving too and that my people viewers is how you move it now obviously you don't want the trees to be going insane and really it's your own preference but if you want to calm them down, like calm the leaves down, <laughs> then just go and select them. Go back to the uh, sorry. Go back to the texture properties and um, go down to size and just increase that size. That will I'm gonna sit back down and hit. Start getting interrupted. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about these some of these abrupt cutoffs and um yeah uh the recording stopped and i was just like an idiot sitting here and explaining this whole tutorial so all right let me reopen this tab here this leaves i'm so mad at myself right now all right so let me find those axes so basically what i did is you know you can change the size and what changing the size will do is basically make it to where it's not crazy and even then it still looks crazy and so what you want to do change that or or you know it, it just it the movement isn't very realistic so to change that you need to have your leaf selected and uh go to modifier properties and you can change the direction in which they move um I, for the animation, anyway, 
I used Z, like Z coordinate direction. You can use X or Y. Y though, in my opinion, is kind of weird because it's going up and down and that's just unrealistic. X is almost the same as Z, but you know, it's, it's different, they're all different. So I have mine set to Z and as you can see, it looks more realistic, you know? You can slow it down, change it, you know, whatever. Uh, but one other thing you might want to do too is don't have these keyframes like between the two axes like set the linear they will speed up and slow down we don't want that uh, I already fixed that as you know like I told you I literally went through a half of the tutorial not even knowing that this thing wasn't recorded so um, I'm going to do it now then uh, so you want to open up the dope sheet with your plain X's selected and between the two points the two keyframes right click interpolation mode and then click linear and that will make it move in a straight line instead of it speeding up and slowing down so yeah that's that's how you do it um obviously you know it you can change it you know depending on how windy you want it to be how slow you just want it to be and really it's the same process with the grass it's just you know you um you just just like it's literally the same process with grass except you got to work with the size and all that differently uh but yeah so that's really all there is to it of course that's not all i did for the animation and that's not eh, that's not the only question that i was asked to answer I'm gonna go and answer another question was one how did I get the fog or make it foggy um I didn't make it foggy that was a environment texture from BPS uh, Black Plasma Studios and what I did was I went here to world settings I think it is world properties and I changed uh, color to environment texture as if we render it here everything's pink that's just gross click open and uh you know find where you save the bps environment textures text Ugh, my english is just messed up today um but find out find where you saved it or saved any of the files really hold up let me find it i lost it um give me a second and you know just what the heck hold up Okay, uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I know where you saved them. I saved them here in download. Where, you know, that's just where they've always been. Open it. And they got a lot of good environment textures. And once we set that, see, we got it around. The one I used, uh, I think the actual texture was just a bit, you know, foggy looking. But it's really nice. We'll leave you a link to the video that I found it from. This dude was using it and he left a link in his description or you know i'll just give you guys the link so anyway hope you guys enjoyed or well, no sorry. dang it um yeah that's not all um i was also asked how to get like a torch to like emit light in eevee because in eevee objects cannot emit light so to start we need to get a torch in here so first go to append and uh I have the Boxscape Studios pack downloaded. If you guys want that, I will leave a link to the video. I'm pretty sure there's a video somewhere that where they, you know, they released it. And, um, you know, you can download that pack. And once you do, find out where you saved it and go to the blocks rig. It wants you to go to append, of course. Click on the blocks rig, go to um, object. And just search for port. Uh, what the heck? Port. And uh, I'll just get a regular torch. It's just literally just torch right here. And um, hold up, let's just go and bring it right here. Uh, Shift S. Go to selection the cursor. There's our torch. But as you can see, we're in render mode right now, and it's not emitting any light. So we're going to go and fix that and so go ahead and click shift a and add a point I'll go to light and go to point get a point and just drag that up and as you can see it's already emitting some light 
around this little radius. Now, obviously, I know for a fact a lot of you guys are going to want that radius to be bigger and brighter. So, let's go ahead and make that then. So, go down here to the um, object data properties, which would be for the point. And um, you can change the color to match the torch color or texture. You can change that to like a yellowish orange, I don't know. And as you can see, the power is low. So you want to turn up that power to a however high. And that will just make it how bright it is. Now, as you can see, it's got a bit of a small radius. And you can increase that radius, you know, to whatever size. It'll make it a bigger circumference. Eh, circumference. Recover. Now, I'll just set this to 100. 100. Just keep on increasing it. Right now, of course, it's kind of bright. Or not... Not look it doesn't look like it's emitting as much light because we're in a bright environment at the time But that's how you do it and That's actually what I did with lava too here. Let me just go ahead and go over to the lava wherever that is um, Here it is, okay um, that, And click shift a point oh, Point there This and you can change the color to like orange to match the lava and just like crank up those watts because with lava it's really hot and really bright so i i had it set to like thousand um you can't like you can see it emitting light of course but to really get the real scope of it let's just go ahead and um get rid of the hold up let's change this Wait, never mind. You know what? Just, just turn on the strength of the actual world, like light strength, and as you can see, meeting lights. And oh, you can see the torch over there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. You can turn it up, turn it down. But that's how you do it, guys. That's how I did it. Oh, right. um, that's how I did it. That's how you can do it. And you can use that for any of your animations. And hope you guys found this helpful. I know. There was a lot of abrupt cutouts, and that's my fault. But I just wanted to get you guys this tutorial as a thank you uh, for sticking with me through my time of inactivity. No, I suck at um, frequent uploading. But uh, yeah, so hope you found this helpful, guys, and uh, see you in the next video.